Police in London have arrested 12 people in connection with a Saturday night's terror attack, which left seven people dead and nearly 50 others injured. With more on this and other news around the world, we turn to our Noaram. Aram, this is the third terror attack in the country in as many months, and Prime Minister Theresa May has said enough is enough. She's called for a stronger response to Islamic. Islamist extremism and raids are continuing to track down more suspects linked to the attack. What do we know so far? Well, Chia, Metropolitan Police carried out raids in East London's Barking District on Sunday, where an apartment belonging to one of the three attackers is located. And as you said, 12 people have so far been detained. There have also been controlled explosions at the block of flats where the attacker was known to have lived for three years. The targeted area is still in lockdown as the Counterterrorism Command leads an investigation into exactly what happened. London Bridge Overground Station remains closed as well as the Underground Station and trains will also pass straight through Borough Underground which may affect the Monday rush hour. All three attackers were shot dead by police within eight minutes of receiving the first emergency call shortly after 10 p.m. local time. Counterterrorism police said they fired an unprecedented 50 shots at them, adding that they were wearing fake suicide vests. One civilian was caught in the crossfire, but doctors say the victim will make a full recovery. Prime Minister Theresa May, meanwhile, addressed the nation after chairing yet another meeting of the government's COBRA Emergency Committee on Sunday morning. She called for a beefed-up counterterrorism strategy that could include longer jail sentences for some offences and agreements to regulate cyberspace. Mrs May also said the general election will go ahead as planned on Thursday, but all parties, apart from the UK Independence Party, have temporarily stopped campaigning. The attack, in which people were mowed down by a van and stabbed to death, brought global condemnation from France, Canada, Australia and the US, among others.